Hi, in this problem, we're going to work out this definite integral. So we have to integrate one plus x squared cubed with respect to x from zero to one. So I'm thinking that maybe one way to do this would be to basically just multiply it all out. So there is a formula for an expression of the form a plus b quantity cubed. Basically that formula is a cubed plus three a squared b plus three a b squared plus b cubed. And if you're wondering how I wrote that down like that, it's just from memory, so I have it memorized. It's the third row in Pascal's triangle, so one, 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 and then you add, well, fourth row rather, one plus two is three, two plus one is three, one, one. Then you just memorize the coefficients, so you write down the one, put ones on the sides, one plus one is two, put ones on the sides, one plus two is three, two plus one is three, put ones on the sides. So Pascal's triangle, and then the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. And you start with this one and you cube it. Third power, second power, first power, zeroth power. B to the 0, B to the 1, B to the 2, B to the 3. That's the pattern. Um, or you can just memorize it, right? So very useful. I have it memorized at this point. And I just know 1, 3, 3, 1. And I know that the A's descend and the B's ascend. So it starts at 3 and it goes down. With the, with the A and then with the B, it starts at zero and it goes up. And I know the pattern is one, three, three, one. Those are the coefficients. That's how I have it memorized. All right, so in our problem here, we have zero to one. So our A in this particular problem is one and our B is X squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through this. So if A is one, okay, if A is one, then um, it's gonna be one cubed, so just one plus the three is always there, right? That's, that's part of the formula. A is one, so that's no problem. And then B is X squared, so X squared plus three. A is one, so no problems. B squared is X squared squared. So when you square X squared, you're gonna get X to the fourth power. So that's X to the fourth power. And then B cubed is gonna be X squared cubed. Really cool, so three times two is six. So x to the six, this is gonna be lots of fun to add up, <laughs> right? All right, so this is equal to, so now we're gonna integrate this, right? So you integrate the one, you get x. Integrate this one, you add one to the exponent and divide by the result. Two plus one is three, so it's three x cubed over three. Plus, same thing here, add one and divide by the exponent. So three x to the five over five. Plus, same thing here, add one, divide by the exponent. Boom, and we're going from zero to one. So pros do it. All right, these cancel. Plug in the one, subtract, plug in the zero. So plugging in one, we get one plus one, because one cubed is one, plus three fifths times one to the fifth, which is one, plus one to the seventh is one, so just one seventh. Okay, so we have to add all this up. Um, the easiest way to do it, I guess, would be to write everything as a fraction with the same denominator. But first, let me add these. This is two plus three-fifths, plus one-seventh. So a common denominator here is 35, I believe. Yeah, 35. So basically, this is really two over one. So we want this to be a 35 on the bottom. So we do this. And then three-fifths. What's missing here to get a 35 is seven. So you do that. And then what's missing here to get a 35, you do the five. So basically, you're just trying to make the, new, uh, the denominator 35 on each. So for this one, there's a one, so you multiply by 35 over 35. For this one, there's a five, so you multiply by seven over seven. And then for this one, there's a seven, so you multiply by five over five. So this is equal to two times 35 is 70. Three times seven is 21. One times five is five. So this gives you uh, 70 plus 21 plus five. So 91 plus five is 96 over 35. Pretty nuts, right? So yeah, that would be it. Um, did I do that right? No, 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 yeah, yeah, I did that right. 26 plus 70 is 96. Make sure the addition is right here. Easy to mess up if you don't have a calculator. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Kind of cool, good luck.